Hi, welcome to my 2023 Kilonotes tutorial. There are now so many new features since 2022, so I made an updated tutorial. You can download Kilonotes on Google Play or App Store, and it is available on your tablet or your phone. Here's what you will see when you open Kilonotes for the first time. You can use up to three notebooks for free, after that you need to subscribe. So let me introduce some icons on the opening page. Here's the Create Store icon. Click the Member Center at the top. You can pay a one-time fee to purchase the app. After purchasing, you can download these cute notebooks for use. Here's the Setting icon. And you can adjust settings you want. This is also where you back up your data. And remember to do this often. Just choose the files you want and press Backup Now. If you delete your files by accident, you can click the Recycle bin. Enter the recently deleted folder and recover your file. Be careful when deleting the files in this folder, as they will be lost forever. Now I'm going to show you how to create a new notebook. Just tap to create. On the upper left, you'll see an icon where you can toggle between landscape and portrait mode. I prefer the portrait mode for this notebook. There are many different kinds of covers inside, and you can also import your image to customize the cover. I chose the pretty flower one as the cover. Next I'm going to choose the paper type. And there are different colors and textures available. If you're not satisfied with it, there are also other beautiful templates inside the app. Here I use the dot template and write down the notebook's name. Then click create and here's my new notebook. Then I'll go over the different tools on the top. The first one is a category button, which allows you to view all the pages and the outline of the notebook. Press the three dots and you can add a page, clear a page, copy a page, or delete a page. Here, I'm adding a page. And you can also drag the page to reorder your notes. The next one is the label box, and I'll show more details about how to use it later. Then it is the pen tool. Double click the button and change the type of pen you like. You can select the color as needed in the spectrum, and click the plus button to add it in the palette. Moreover, you can adjust the thickness of the pen, and there are many different pen options you can try. Turn on this straight line button, so you can draw a line and hold it become straight. And the auto shapes button can help you to draw a standard shape like circle. Next is the highlighter tool, so you can choose different colors and adjust the brush size too. And then next is the eraser tool. Just choose the eraser size and erase something you don't want. Here's the lasso tool, and you can use it to select things on the page. It contains five buttons to select handwriting, picture, text, doodle, a highlighter. Click the buttons and circle the part you need. It's very convenient. Next one is the image tool. You can use it to import images from your gallery. It's also okay to press the page and add pictures with this tool. And I highly recommend the picture cutout feature in this tool. There are also five buttons for this feature, and the first two are for making stickers. Here, I'm going to show the last three buttons first. Rectangle button helps to cut out the image size. Freehand button helps to select small parts you need. It's as easy to use as the lasso tool. The last one is the shape crop button. You can transform the picture into different shapes. And you can customize the border color you like, which makes the image more aesthetic. Next is the text tool, so you can add text boxes to the page, and you can adjust the text colors and the size. There are also a lot fonts available and you can select your own style. Then choose the paragraph form you want, and adjust the size of character spacing and line spacing. So here I'm creating a text box and widen it, then you can write normally and it will automatically convert to text. Here's the surprising update that you can import your font to Kilonotes now. Just click the plus icon and import the font from your file. Then you can easily find it in Import Font of the Font Library. Here I add a text box with the import font, which is so nice. Next is the Doodle tool. You can create your own graffiti to decorate the page. Now, moving on is the Label tool. Just select the content you want to add label on the page. Click the Add Label button and set up the name, and you can check it in the label box. Lastly, we have this pointer tool. You can use it to scroll through the page and double tap to view the full screen mode. And now it's also available to record audio in your note by using the record tool. 
After recording, you can replay the audio and make some marks. Press on the far right icon and rename the audio and the marks. You can also add the audio to page with the play button. When you want to listen to the audio, just click it to play. What I love most is that there are a lot of cute stickers inside the material button, and there are different categories and sticker sets. So just go to a sticker set you like and click download to be able to use it. Here to material tools for creating our own stickers. The first one is Smart Cutout Tool. You can use two modes, Transparent Background and Selection and Cutout to make your stickers. Then go and view in my material. When you want to use them, just click and place them on the page. The second one is Paper Cutting Tool. There are also many paper patterns inside, so you can choose the paper type and the folding method you like. Then draw some shapes on the pattern and you can give it a whole look in the preview. Go and check it in my material too. Then you will also find templates under this tool. There are different kinds you can choose. And you can replace the current page's template, add a new page before or after your current page. Now let me show some features which I use a lot when I'm studying. The first one is the card feature. Press the plus button and you can create your own flashcard. The content of the card can be text, images, and handwriting. And you can set the card color, which is quick to classify and organize. Here I'm going to make a handwriting card. Tap to edit and go into the edit page. You can use the same tools before to make the card. Then you can also write down the title at the horizontal line. Lastly, add a tag to the card in the bottom box and tap create and you can find it through the tag in the right tab bar. In the notebook, you can also view the cards in the label box. If you want to add them to the page, just drag them out and adjust their size. The second one is outline feature and I'm going to show it in my medical note. Click the catalog button first so you can find the outline icon and tap it. Then tap to create an outline. Write down the title with your pen and there are three levels you can set the title at. Then link the title to the current page or to other page as needed. And you can click the plus icon on the bottom right to create more title for your outline. Here's a shortcut that uses the lasso tool to quickly set out an outline of the notebook. Just circle out the title in your notebook, then click add outline and repeat the steps of set the title for the outline. This way helps me save a lot of time typing titles, and I can get a clear outline in the end. The third one is translation feature and it also needs to use the lasso tool. Remember to press the text button and then circle the text you want to translate. So you will see the translation in the upper bar and click it. Then wait for a few seconds and the translation page will load. It did help me learn another language. Once you're done and you can click the three dots to export your note, you can select the pages that you want to export to. Then save it in your file and you can share it as you like. Besides, you can export your notes as images for better sharing. Just select the page and click confirm, then save it in your gallery. Now back to the opening page and I'll show how I organize my notebook. For me, I have a couple of folders and it's easy to make. Just drag notebooks into each other and then it automatically creates a folder. Here you can also add the folder name by writing with your pen. Another way I organize my notebooks is using the hidden space. And you can go to About Us first, then find the hidden space. Here you can create new notebooks and add any existing ones that are on the homepage. Then click this icon and set your own passwords of the hidden space. When you want to view the hidden space, just enter your passwords. It's a good way to save your note if you don't want to see it in the homepage. I often import some PDF files with this button. Just tap it and download a PDF file like this, so I can read and make some notes with these tools. Then I will put it together into one folder. Moreover, you can also import some notebook templates. I downloaded this template from the creator Kamichi, and the template concludes some hyperlinks for page jumps. There are also many different page templates, so I can have a lot of choices to design my own notes. And you can import more templates you like to kill a notes. 
So that's it for this video. If you want me to do a tutorial on something else, just let me know in the comment section, and I'll film it as quickly as possible. That's it. See you next time. Thank you.